1977, a heartwarming family drama hit the television scene Eight is Enough. The show featured a talented cast, including a beloved Hollywood actor, and resonated with audiences for its realistic portrayal of family life. As you explore the episodes, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. Enjoy funny moments that will make you laugh, surprising twists that will keep you hooked, and touching scenes that might bring a tear to your eye. The series has a lasting appeal that makes it a timeless part of TV history. Talking about the classic Hollywood actors, who was your favorite in Eight is Enough? The ensemble cast, each contributing to the show's charm, made it a household favorite. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this beloved TV series? Share your stories, anecdotes, and nostalgia in the comments. Your connection to Eight is Enough is what makes it special. Ready for a trip down memory lane with the show? Tune in for the laughs, shocks, and heartfelt moments, and don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Your stories matter. A viewer's experience with the TV series 8 is Enough reveals an entertaining family comedy with highs and lows featuring a great cast. The show initially centered around a married couple with eight children, but underwent significant changes early on. Diana Highland portrayed the mother, and her untimely death from fatal cancer prompted script adjustments. Subsequently, Tom Bradford, played by Dick Van Patten, found a new direction in his life, eventually marrying Abby, portrayed by Betty Buckley, and serving as Tommy's tutor. The second and third seasons stand out as the series peak, offering scripts that seamlessly navigated between drama and comedy. The entire cast delivered commendable performances, contributing to generally well-crafted storylines. However, as the narrative progressed into the fourth season, the focus shifted. The three eldest daughters embarked on independent paths, renting their own apartment. This choice altered the family dynamic, steering the series more towards drama than comedy. New characters, including boyfriends and husbands of the older daughters, were introduced. Like many series, Eight is Enough experienced its peak of creativity, but gradually lost the charm of its heyday. As the storyline evolved, it introduced additional complexities and characters affecting the initial balance between humor and drama. In hindsight, the series showcased moments of brilliance, but its later stages witnessed a departure from the elements that initially endeared it to audiences. In conclusion, Eight is Enough serves as a testament to the evolution of family dynamics on television, marked by a blend of humor and drama with a noteworthy cast contributing to its memorable moments. In classic TV, Dick Van Patten played Tom Bradford in Eight is Enough, ranking as the 33rd greatest TV dad in TV Guide. The show's writing skillfully shared screen time among the diverse Bradford siblings for the first four seasons. However, in the final season, Willie Ahm's popularity pushed his character, Tommy, into the spotlight, sidelining regulars like Grant Goodev, Susan Richardson, and Lanny O'Grady. The difference in character prominence peaked, leading Goodev to suggest a divorce storyline for David and Janet to restore his central role in the family. Despite playing the eldest Bradford child, Goodev was younger than co-stars Susan Richardson, Laurie Walters, and Diane Kaye in reality. The show's journey through family life resonates, showcasing relationship intricacies and the challenges of balancing individual story arcs. As the series progressed, the balance of humor and drama evolved, introducing new characters and complexities. This evolution reflected the changing nature of family dynamics on TV. The series faced highs and lows, displaying brilliance in its peak seasons. However, like many shows, changes altered its initial charm in hindsight. Eight is Enough's significance lies not only in portraying family life, but also in reflecting the changing storytelling on the small screen. Eight is Enough, a notable family drama from the late 70s, went through significant changes over its seasons. Initially featuring an instrumental opening theme, the later seasons introduced a lyrical theme sung by Grant Goodev, who played David. Interestingly, Goodev took on singing duties in a specific episode. The series explored Abby's backstory, whose first husband, Frank Abbott, met a tragic end in Vietnam. This sad element added depth to the character dynamics, reflecting the show's commitment to portraying real-life challenges within the family structure. A unique aspect of the cast dynamics surfaced in the relationship between Lori Walters, who played one of the daughters, and her on-screen mother, Diana Highland. Despite a mere 11-year age difference, 
Walters found herself just six months older than her stepmother, portrayed by Betty Buckley. This age dynamic added a layer of authenticity to the familial relationships depicted on screen. As the series progressed, it navigated through highs and lows, showcasing a blend of drama and comedy. The initial season stood out for well-crafted storylines and the ensemble cast's commendable performances. However, the introduction of new characters and evolving story arcs shifted the show's balance, steering it more towards drama in later seasons. Grant Goodev, despite playing the eldest Bradford child, found himself younger than co-stars Susan Richardson, Lori Walters, and Diane Kaye in reality. The show's exploration of family life resonated with viewers, highlighting the intricacies of relationships and the challenges of balancing individual character arcs. In its final season, the series underwent shifts in character prominence, with Willie Alm's character, Tommy, taking center stage. This change prompted Goodev to propose a divorce storyline for his character, David, in an attempt to reclaim a central role in the family dynamic. Throughout its journey, the show mirrored the evolving nature of family dynamics on television. While it experienced moments of brilliance in its peak seasons, the later stages witnessed a departure from the elements that initially captivated audiences. In conclusion, Eight is Enough remains a noteworthy exploration of family life on TV, marked by a mix of humor and drama. Its ability to adapt to changing storytelling trends reflects the dynamic nature of the small screen. The series, with its realistic portrayal of familial relationships, holds a distinct place in television history. In his autobiography Love Life, Rob Lowe shares an interesting fact about the show's heyday. Dick Van Patten, who played the family's dad Tom Bradford, owned an apartment building in Los Angeles called Patton Place. This place became a home for aspiring actors because it had affordable rents. Notably, Ralph Macchio, who played Tom's nephew Jeremy Andrew Davis, lived there during his time on the show in 1980 and 1981, blurring the lines between on-screen and off-screen life. In the series, Mary, one of the characters, went to the University of California, Berkeley, for medical training. This added a realistic touch to the character dynamics, shaping Mary's role in the family. Despite not liking the show's shift towards comedy, Mark Hamill stuck to his commitment. However, fate stepped in when he had a serious car accident on the night the pilot episode aired, causing significant facial injuries. Hamill had to leave the show, sparking questions about the true extent of his injuries. Some believe the accident gave him a convenient way out of a show he no longer connected with. These behind-the-scenes details add depth to the story, revealing the interconnected lives of the actors beyond the scripted family drama. The show's link to real-life challenges and the cast resilience in the face of unexpected events contribute to its portrayal of family life.